Here we are going to show you how to quickly uh, export a project from one GitLab or Heptapod instance and import it into another one. Uh, we're using Heptapod, which is a version of GitLab that supports Mercurial. And we're running off a private local server, so this isn't available on the internet, and so we can't just go and pull everything using the repository import feature from GitLab. So I'm going to go over here to pick the project that I want to export. Go down to Settings, General, under Advanced, and there's an export project. I want to generate a new export. If you haven't done this already, you will not see the download export button. That takes a few minutes. Once you've done it, you can click that and it will download it to your local computer. Uh, so I have that. Then uh, what you want to do is go over to your GitLab or the other project that you want to import from, create a new project, uh, import the project uh, from a GitLab export file, choose that file, uh, and specify where you want it to go, and I want to call this one wdata, and I want to put it in a particular location, so it's going to go there. Click import the project, and this will take a few minutes, and it will import it, and I will come back and show you what it looks like once that's done. Okay, so the project has come back now. The pro it was successfully imported, and so we can see everything. We have our commits. We also have uh, the issues and merge requests and everything. Now, one thing that is not so great, but I'm not sure how to fix this, I think it is a limitation, is that um, we'll see what happens with issues. So issue number eight here was created by not me. And so if we go to the issues and look at our closed issues, we see that issue number eight is now created by me. And so I don't know if there's a good way of going and switching back to those issues and making reassociating them with users. Probably the issue is that the user on our Heptapod server that set this one up, Subtarshi, may not have an account on GitLab, and so we'd have to somehow manually sync that. I'm not sure how to do that yet. We'll take a look at that, and I'll let you know if that is something that can be done. But otherwise, we now have a project here with linked issues, etc., and the complete repository for use elsewhere. Uh, then you should go back into the project information and the settings and make sure that the permissions are set. Notice that a project description didn't get imported, and so I probably want to pull that in as well as go through a few other settings. Ah, I didn't have one, so that's why it wasn't imported. Um, and get this ready to go, but that's all that it really takes. Okay.